Hi guys, welcome to WarWiki. Today we get you a detailed video on one of the most produced, exported, and used main battle tank in the world. We present you with a video on the Russian T-90 tank. In this video we will briefly discuss the history of this tank. We will take into consideration two of its latest versions. The T-90S or M version, which is now produced in India with several Indian, Swedish, French and Israeli modifications, and is called Bishma MBT. We will mainly focus on the latest and probably the last version of T-90 series, the T-90MS, Tagal main battle tank. In this video we will discuss its pros and cons and specifications in detail. T-90 is the third generation Russian main battle tank that entered service in late 1993. After the fiasco of T-80 series in the wars in Chechnya, the Russians went back to the drawing board, took inspiration from the successful T-72 and upgraded its design with latest technologies. The troublesome gas turbine engine found in T-80 series was ditched and the 1000 HP diesel engine was bought back in the T-90 series. Although this resulted in lower power to weight ratio, the overall tank specification and performances was very comparable to any tank of that era. Coincidentally the biggest user of T-90 series of tanks is the Indian Army and not the Russian Army. While Russia has close to 1,500 T-90 tanks which play a very important role in Russian Armored Corps, the Indians operate little more than 2,000 T-90s as of today. The advanced variant of this beast, the T-90S, what Indians have named as the Bhishma MBT and Russians designated as the T-90M variant, is the backbone of Indian Army Armored Division. This version is one of the most advanced version of the T-90, and Indians have now acquired production rights to produce them for its own use, using Russian knockdown kits and 78% indigenously produced parts. Indians have customized this tank completely, they have incorporated French origin thermal sighting device, indigenous remote controlled anti-aircraft gun, a Swedish Saab LEDs 150 active protection system, indigenous conchin armor along with Russian contact 5 explosive reactive armor, and several Israeli safety features, creating its very own T-90 variant with several new and customized features. The result is one of the best modern tank, which has given India a considerable edge over its neighbor Pakistan, which uses the Ukrainian T-80 UD and the Chinese Type 59 as their mainstream tanks. This edge is critical for India as it has historically fought four wars with Pakistan, two of which saw massive tank battles in Asal Uttar, Ukri, Billora, Chavinda, Longguala, and many more. The latest version of Russian T-90 tank is the T-90MS, which goes by the name of Tagal or Proriv. The tank has a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. Considering its vast improvements and added features, it's unfair to consider it just as a variant of T-90 series. The survivability of the crew has been increased many fold in the new version, so has the targeting capabilities and mobility of the vehicle. Let's look at some of its specifications and capabilities. Firepower. The T-90MS main armament is the new 125mm high-accuracy smoothbore gun with auto-reload, this gun has longer range than the previous 2A46M gun of the baseline T-90. It has capabilities to fire high-explosive frag rounds, high-explosive anti-tank rounds, tank-busting sabo rounds and much more. The Tagil can also fire reflex anti-tank missiles which have operational range of around 6km, and can be used to target low-flying helicopters as well. The targeting range of the tank is estimated as 100 meters to 6 kilometers, the makers however claim that the Tagal can be used to fire high explosive shells to up to 12 kilometers. The tank can carry a total of 40 rounds of which 22 rounds are stored in the auto loader and are ready to use. The T-90MS uses a proven carousel type auto loader with reload time of 7.5 seconds per shell. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a remotely controlled weapon station, also armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. Both machine guns can be operated under armor, thanks to the remote control feature. This Russian tank has a hunter-killer engagement capability. Tank commander uses a panoramic side with thermal vision to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Furthermore target acquisition system tracks selected targets automatically. It is claimed that the new tank is 15 to 20 percent more accurate than its predecessor. Armor and protection. 
The T90MS Taggle MBT has an improved turret and an added turret bustle. The MS variant has vastly improved crew protection and has improved survivability of the tank with the introduction of Relict Explosive Reactive Armor which replaces the Conduct 5 armor of previous variants. The composite armor and the Relict ERA drastically improves the protection against tandem warheads and reduces penetration of armor-piercing fin-stabilized Sabo rounds by over 50%. It is capable of defeating even the most modern versions of the Sabo ammo based on depleted uranium. Some analysts say this armor can take twice as many RPG and other anti-tank weapon hits as the older Konak 5 armor. There is also a Shura 1 countermeasure system, which significantly reduces the chance of being hit by enemy anti-tank guided weapons with semi-automatic guidance. This countermeasure system of Shura 1 provides a third and additional layer of protection for the Taggle. As usual this tank is fitted with NBC protection and Kalina automatic fire suppression system. The interior of the tank is lined with spall liner for added protection. Mobility. This magnificent Russian tank is the lightest in this class. With a weight of only 48 tons, the T90MS is extremely maneuverable, even in most arduous of the terrains. The new tank also has improved suspension and drivetrain as well. The Taggle is powered by a new V92S2F turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1130 HP, which provides it with maximum speed of 72 km per hour. The engine is integrated with automatic transmission, first time in Russian tanks history. It also employs an auxiliary power unit, which powers all systems when the main engine is turned off. This combat vehicle is fitted with a deep waiting kit, that can be installed by tanks crew within 20 minutes. With a deep waiting kit attached it can ford water obstacles up to 5 meter deep. The T90MS is perhaps the last variant of the T90 series. No future variant is planned as of now. The Russians are focusing on the T14 series of Armada main battle tank, which are the first of the next generation or fourth generation main battle tanks in the world. T90 has achieved massive success in terms of export. Russia in last two decades have exported more than 3,000 units of T-90 in different variants, to countries like India, Syria, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Algeria, etc. India has already approved an order worth $1.5 billion for acquiring 354 new T-90 MS tanks for six new regiments for the China border. These tanks are extremely economical, with a unit cost of close to $4.5 million, the Tagile cost per unit is half of the cost of other modern tanks like the American M1 Abrams and German Leopard 2. This lucrative price makes them all the more prime candidate for export orders. Cheaper as they may, the T90 Tagle can not be taken for granted at all. It is one of the finest modern MBT and is comparable to other third and advanced 3 plus generation tanks, like the South Korean K2 Black Panther, British Challenger 2, the French AMX Leclerc, American Abrams, and the German Leopard 2. You can find out the difference between the T90MS and other tanks, by checking out our comparison video for some of the top 3rd generation tanks, by clicking the note on top. Now we would like to know from you. What do you think? How good is the T90MS Tagile with respect to its competitors like the American M1A2, the British Challenger 2, the South Korean K2 Black Panther and the German Leopard 2? Should the Indian Army go ahead and buy these tanks, as it plans to do. Do let us know your opinions by commenting below. We will continue to bring you such informative videos in future. Please do not forget to like this video and show us your support. If you want to catch all of our videos do not forget to subscribe our channel. Have a great day and support WarWiki.